Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be showing how to get GPS information on the screen of the X20 from uh, using an Archer GR8 receiver and a GPS. This was prompted by a viewer called Rodolfo Finn who asked the question or said he was having problems getting the GPS information on the screen. The question was in Italian and uh, I was looking at a translation so hopefully uh, the information is correct. What we're doing is connecting a GPS to the GR8 receiver and uh, getting the GPS telemetry on the screen. It's just a matter of connecting the GPS into the smart port connection, which is provided on the GR8 receiver. So smart port is a telemetry input for FRSky receivers, and that means you can connect other sensors such as the uh, 40 amp current sensor or the little LiPo sensor there. You can also get a GPS sensor from FRSky. I used to have one, but I've, I've just lost it. I don't know where it is at the moment. So I can demonstrate that using a, a Batian BN220 GPS connected to a flight control board. Uh, with flight control boards and iNav, you can configure them to output smart port compatible telemetry. So that to the receiver, that will look exactly the same as having another smart port sensor connected in there. So let's go and have a look anyway. I'll um, show how to set it all up in INAV at the end of the video, but uh, we'll sort of be pretending that this is uh, just a GPS, an FRSky GPS sensor plugged into the receiver. So as I said, what I have is a Batian BN220 GPS. Uh, it is a F722 WPX Matek flight control board. Receiver is the Archer GR8. So let's get started. Let's just fire up the transmitter. Plug the receiver in. This is connecting to the flight control board via SBUS, but could equally just be pl plugging servos into the PWM outputs and uh, the GPS sensor into the smart port. So what we'll do now is uh, connect the smart port lead to uh, the TX pin of a UART that I have set up in the configurator. I'll show that later on. Got a blue flashing light on the GPS, so we know that is powered up. Uh, that side is the antenna, not that side, you have to remember. So now we go to model, telemetry, and discover new sensors. Just turn discover new sensors on, and we'll pick up all the telemetry from uh, the receiver itself, but also the sensors plugged into the smart port. And that will be everything coming from the flight control board. There's a lot more here than you would do, than you would get if you were just plugging the sensor into the receiver. But uh, let's have a look now. We've got RSSI, GPS speed coming from the sensor. Uh, altitude will be coming from the GR8 barometer. And we've got GPS, GPS course, GPS altitude, and all right, so let's go and set up the screen so that we can show them. So I have a second screen set up. Let's go in closer to that where I can display the telemetry and let's go and set up telemetry. Configure widget. Widget will be a value. Source will be. Let's go and find some telemetry to show now. So let's start off with GPS speed in the first one. There we go there. Uh, we haven't got any speed at the moment because the GPS isn't moving. So now let's go to the next one. Uh, configure widget. Telemetry. GPS coordinates. they have got coordinates showing up there. Now we'll do, say, GPS course. And the final one, we will do GPS altitude. There we go. So now we have GPS speed, which will show when the GPS is actually moving. GPS course, which will also be accurate when the GPS is moving. GPS coordinates and GPS altitude. And once it is, it's acquired enough satellites to give a 3D lock, we'll get sensible information on the screen here, just like this. So there we go. All we basically do is plug the GPS sensor 
into the smart port, go to the telemetry page, turn on discover new sensors and then go to your display page and just choose which sensors you need to uh, display. So let's go and uh, I'll show you how to set it up in INAV. So now I've connected up the flight control board to the configurator with the receiver and uh, GPS connected. You can see we have the blue GPS signal here which shows the GPS is connected and working. So first we go to ports and make sure you've chosen uh, a UART to connect your GPS to and also to get smart port uh, telemetry out from the flight control board you need to choose smart port as uh, the telemetry on a spare UART that uh, you will connect the smart port cable from the receiver to the TX pin on that UART. So once you've done that we go to configurator and uh, make sure telemetry output is ticked here and on the GPS we make sure use GPS for navigation and telemetry is clicked here and before you can do that you have to make sure you've set up the GPS on a port and plugged it in there. Make sure this total messages here is counting up then you know your GPS is working okay. It may not have found any satellites if you're inside uh, but if that's counting up and you've got the little blue symbol up here blue GPS symbol then you know you're good to go you've just got to wait for the uh, sensor to acquire satellites and that's all there is to it you just have to plug the GPS sensor or the flight control board smart port into the smart port cable on the GR8 sensor discover sensors and choose what you want to display on the screen Thanks for watching.